Welcome to Railway Legends, Myths, and Stories. I'm Kevin Stanley. We here at RLMS have recently been on a great deal of travel. We visited many places, including taking a once-in-a-lifetime rail trip to the shores of Hudson Bay. We hope to bring some of these stories to you soon. Today, however, I will talk about what happened the very day we arrived home. As we were unpacking, something happened just across the street in the small railroad yard there. Lisa noticed that there had been some workers around the cars spotted on the yard tracks, and after they left, she pointed out something was amiss. So what was wrong? A casual observer might have missed it, but we see cars spotted here all the time, and I noticed a problem with the car on the far left. This car is derailed. The leading truck is completely off the track. I looked a bit more closely and realized why. See the big D? This is a derail switch. You might ask, what the heck is a derail switch? And why would anybody want to derail a train on purpose? Let's look into that. When this switch is set so that the D is facing the direction of travel, so it can be seen while moving down the track, it means the switch is set in the derailing position. That means any car that passes over it will derail. The line of cars is on what locally is known as the old house track. A train that regularly passes through here, dropping off and picking up cars for a through freight, often pushes cars into this siding from the east. Well, this time things did not go well. Had the train not stopped after dropping the first truck of the first car off the end of the derail switch, these trucks would also have derailed. This did cause work to come to a halt until next morning, though. Usually one does not want a train to derail, but sometimes this is a better option than you might think. A derail is a special kind of switch points. In North America, they're known as derails while in Great Britain they are sometimes called catch points. They are designed to cause a rail car or a whole train to derail. Okay, you're still asking why would it you have a switch that deliberately derails a train? This is a safety feature. In places where cars might otherwise roll onto the main line and collide with a passing train, railroads put in derails or catch points, either switches like this or devices strapped to the rail, that deliberately derailed a runaway car and direct it away from the through track. This prevents the car from fouling a through or main track and causing a worse accident. It looks like the train that was switching cars onto the house tracks pushed these cars too far and thus pushed them through the derail and into the gravel. There was no danger here. These cars haul a kind of plastic pellets that are used as an input product by a local industry. Later in the evening, I saw a Union Pacific truck arrive. Although this derailment was probably caused by a tenant railroad that uses these tracks, the track itself belongs to Union Pacific, and they have the equipment in Sparks, Nevada, to handle derailments. I speculate that they will send the tenant a bill for the cleanup. It was not much later that day when rail crews came and pulled the other cars away, leaving only the derailed car and the one connected to it. The second car was sitting on top of the derail switch. The next morning, they brought out more equipment and started working on re-railing the car. I could not get a good view of exactly what they were doing, but I speculate that they were using cribbing, gravel, and possibly re-railing frogs to prepare the car to be pulled back onto the track. They brought in a locomotive and attached it to the two cars. Unfortunately, I missed shooting video of them pulling the car onto the tracks by just a few seconds, although I did see it happening. They pulled the cars free of the derail switch, and all was well. It does not appear there was any harm done by the derailment, and other trains have since come and moved cars in and out of the area. 
I'm relieved that it was a relatively harmless product like plastic pellets and not something more dangerous like unodorized natural gas that went off the rails. And as next time, we'll see you on the train. As long as it stays on the tracks. <laughs>